We are right now on Campbell Island. It's an island just off the coast of Maine, but also accessible by um, ferry. I think there's less than 900 people here. But the people were very welcoming. That was the first thing we noticed when we came here. Everyone knows each other. It's a very tight and close-knit community. You're surrounded by nature. You're surrounded by marine life. You're surrounded by some of the friendliest and kindest people I've ever met. Our rural communities in New Brunswick are isolated. Populations are decreasing and the populations that are staying in rural communities is aging. And the nursing program recognizes this and uh, really are putting a focused effort on ensuring that student nurses have opportunities in those communities. Typically, when you think about nursing practice, you think of acute care hospital-based nursing experiences. And we felt that it was important that students understood where people were coming from. They don't live in the hospital, they live in their homes and in their communities. When they first came here, we honestly, we are so busy at the clinic. It was during COVID and the other nurses and I, we thought, you know, what are we gonna do with these, these students here? We want to give them what they need while they're here, but they hit the ground running. They really did. They came in, not only did they learn from us, but we really learned from them as well. We first started off with a community needs survey. So we wanted to find an area that was pretty high traffic. So we sat outside of the co-op market here and I think we got approximately 30 people to answer a survey and just tell us about what they felt the biggest needs on the island were. They identified mental health resources as a big need on the island and food insecurity as well as COVID slash like infection prevention. That's really what we wanted to do. We weren't going to come in here and kind of implement a program that we felt would look good or would, would be easy for us. We really wanted to find what the community needed and put those funds and put our efforts into that. So we provided grades 9 to 12 with presentations on mindfulness and meditation and we provided them with breathing techniques and books, things like that. And then to support that, we provided two nurses here on the island with mental health first aid crisis training because there's no 24, you know, emergency or even healthcare services here. When I think about the word community, I think of the word belonging. I belong somewhere. I'm valued and my health is important, emotional health, my financial health, my, my connectedness to other people. We are not uh, solitary beings. And I think immersing ourselves in community and community practices, whether they're fundraising or whether it's doing something in your community in terms of environmentally, you just get this feeling that you're, you're part of something larger. And having nurses immersed in that, in that culture of community means that they too have value and their knowledge will bring something that makes us healthier and better human beings. Most of New Brunswick is rural. And we kind of forget about that and just see those three or four big urban centers and really see that that is just New Brunswick. But outside of that, there are loads of communities that need support and help that we just really don't see. You know, just knowing that these nursing students who could choose to go anywhere chose to come here meant a lot.